In this video, there is an abnormal heat in the village. Houses began to burn due to the temperature, and there is no harvest or water at all. We are forced to leave the village and go in search of a new home where we can live. Huh? Look, there's a witch here. Do you see her too? Uh-oh. Yes. Why did she come here and what is she going to do? Huh? She seems to be transforming our houses. Huh? Why has our house become a dirt house? Oh no! It seems like she's about to transform our house too. Huh? Witch, stop doing this. Stop it, otherwise you will regret it. What? Oh! Okay, we are not against such a house. A house made of diamonds is better than one made of dirt. Nothing can save this village. We need to equip the trailers that the witch gave us. Huh? Yes. Let's go put up beds and chests so that we can travel comfortably. Hmm. Let's go inside and see what we can do here to make it comfortable. Huh? JJ, I can see you through the window. It seems they covered the window with dirt, and now nothing can be seen. <laughs> well, it's good that we don't see them when we wake up in the morning. Now we'll put a toy here for our baby so that he'll be bored sitting in the trailer while we go somewhere. And we'll put a bed here. There's not a lot of space here, but it'll be comfortable and cozy for us. I think all three of us can fit here on the bed. Hmm. It's a pity that we are now forced to look for a new place to move and not be burned out because of the heat. It seems it's time for us to move forward and go on a long journey. Let us be patient and be able to travel without obstacles. Now nothing can be seen. Our baby will be sad for this village because he has a lot of memories here. Huh? I understand him. I will also miss this village, but we have no choice and we urgently need to move from here. We need to slowly get ready because we will be leaving on a long journey. I don't know how long the journey will take us, but it will be quite a long trip. I hope that we will soon find a new home and be able to settle there with the whole family. Hmm. And somewhere nearby there will be Mikey and his family, so we shouldn't be too sad. Let's take one last look at our village and start leaving here. I don't really want to leave here, but I have to for the sake of you and the child. Here are our latest views of this village. I think I have one idea. <laughs> I can collect some cactus and put it right under Mikey's wheels. Now I'll take a little bit of this cactus. I'll need it to make a joke on Mikey. I think he will appreciate my joke. This will be very funny to do because now he is not even looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, because he is busy moving to a new place. As soon as he moves from his place, his tires swell or burst. He will have to stay a little longer to change them. When he starts the car and drives off, he realizes that he cannot even move. Now, let's close our container and we can sit back inside the truck. Hmm. Now, our long journey begins. Let's get ready for a new experience. Let's leave faster. It seems Mikey realized that I was making a joke on him. <laughs> JJ, this is not funny. I know you did it. <laughs> now, because of you, I will fall behind and ride behind because you blew off all my wheels. What should I do now? It will take a very long time, and I will have to fix it for a very long time. But I won't leave it like this. JJ can't make fun of me all the time. Soon my revenge will come when I can make fun of him too. Huh? Our journey has begun, where we can see a lot of new things, and many obstacles await us ahead that we need to overcome. But this is what we can do. Oh no! It's too bad. There is a huge mountain in front of us that we need to overcome. For this, we lack a special tool that needs to be hooked in front of the track so that it breaks all the stones on the way. I don't know what to do with this. I need help. I wonder where Mikey are now, but it seems that he will help me too. Hmm. Now I'll go up to him and try to start a conversation so that he can help me collect wood. And then we will make a craft table from this and melt the iron into iron bars on it. Huh? It seems a huge mountain stood in our way. What should we do? Hmm. Listen to me carefully. In order to overcome this big mountain, we need to make equipment for my truck. To do this, we need to get a little wood. You'll help me with this, won't you? Yep, of course I will help you. It's not difficult at all. Now we'll have some wood. What else is needed to make this equipment? Maybe we need to get something else. Hmm. Yes. Now we will have the last block with you, and this will be enough for us to make a craft table. In the crafting table, we will make an iron bars, and we can use it to make this device that we need to destroy the mountain. Now let's go to my trailer, and let's begin our creation stage. Oh! Wow! It's so great that we will soon get through this obstacle and be able to travel further. If it weren't for your topics, we definitely wouldn't have been able to even think about going through this mountain. I would have 
to look for workarounds and lose a lot of time. But with your ideas, I can save a lot of time. Huh? Yes. I don't even know what you would do without me. I have some meat here. You can take it. It will be useful to you. Oh. Let's go ahead and make this device. Yep. I have already made all the iron bars that we needed. Just look how we will do it. There will be a slightly complicated mechanism here, but if I don't get distracted and do everything correctly, I will succeed the first time. Let me help you a little, and things will go faster. It will be difficult for you to do this yourself, but I will help you. Yep. And here comes the time when we will now begin to destroy this mountain. Can you imagine very soon, we will pass through this mountain? Let's hurry because we don't have much time. Wow, it's so simple. Maybe because it is such a meditative activity. Digging, moving, overcoming obstacles. Sometimes I think about how similar mountains are to life. They stand before us, huge and impregnable, and our task is to overcome them. Sometimes I feel like this track is my tool, my way to achieve my goals. And although it may seem hard and slow, every movement brings me closer to my goal. Maybe in the end, it's not so much about how fast we move, but about keeping moving forward. Hmm. Finally, we have overcome this mountain and can continue our journey. Ho <laughs> ho! Mikey and his family are moving right behind us. It seems we have already covered quite a long way and are almost there. Huh? We need a place where we will be safe and happy. Uh-oh. What kind of strange hole is this? My truck can easily go through it. I shouldn't have any problems. Well, what about Mikey? Let's see what happens to him. It shouldn't be a problem to overcome this obstacle. Hmm. Let's continue to move forward and not look back. We need to stick together and move forward. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because Mikey's track is not very good, he is stuck and cannot get out. It seems I'll have to help him and attach chains to his car in order to get him out of there. I need to come and take a closer look at what is happening there. Hmm. Although I already see the whole situation, I need to know the details and know my plan of action that I will come up with. JJ, is that you? Help us! <laughs> Mikey's track looks very sad. It seems they were quite scared that they almost fell through there. Uh-oh. Don't worry, Mikey. I'll help you get out of here now. To do this, I'll drive up much closer backwards in my car and try to attach your tractor to me on a chain and I'll get you out of here. I don't know if I can do it, but it's worth a try. Do your best. Oh. Now I'll think about my truck and do everything necessary. I should succeed the first time. I think Mikey and his family can be patient for a little while and wait while I get myself together and do the best I can. Hmm. Now I back up right to the destroyed part of the road and park right next to Mikey's car so that I can attach a cable to him and raise his truck. This is a rather complicated process, but I should succeed. Mikey, how are you okay? Huh? Of course I'm not okay. How could you ask such a question? You see that we are stuck here and we are all scared. Thank you for helping. We are all waiting for you to get us out. I will be very grateful to you. Hmm. Don't worry, you can rely on me. I'm a professional in these matters. Now I pulled you out, I'm glad that you are safe and healthy. You could have fallen straight into the ground. I wouldn't have gotten you out of there. Now that everyone is saved and we have reached our destination, we can have a party. Guys, what do you think of the idea for us to have a barbecue and have a good rest? Maybe we should keep ourselves busy with something interesting. Oh! It also seems to me that we should somehow celebrate this matter. Let's take on all the men's work, and the wives and children will just come to everything ready. We will find everything we need for a barbecue, arrange huh? all the furniture, and a fire for this. Let's fry the meat, and we can all have a good rest together. This is a great idea, so that we can celebrate a new place where we can stay and live. Ho <laughs> ho! I totally agree with you, Mikey. Yep! For now, our wives will go and see the city, and we will do the barbecue. Look, they seem to have gone somewhere to spend time together. Huh? Let's spend time together as true friends. Yep. Let's go see what's here. I think I have everything I need for a barbecue in my house. Whatever we are missing, we'll have to go and find. Let's go see what's there. <laughs> JJ, how about we also look at the city nearby and see what's interesting here? And then we'll start making barbecue. I don't think it will take much time. Hmm. I have some beach chairs, an umbrella, a lighter, and a BBQ grill here. Hmm. I'm thinking about your proposal. We will need to go and take a walk together. 
Perhaps there are some interesting buildings or places nearby where we can have fun. Let's see what you have in your truck. Hmm, I don't know what I might have in my house. Well, there aren't very many items there. Maybe there was something lying around and I even forgot what could be there. Let's see what's here. There is only one fire here. Ho <laughs> ho! Well, I think we can do something with him. We can fry meat immediately on a barbecue grill or over a fire. If we have a lot of meat, it will speed up the frying process and we will be able to eat faster. Hmm. Yes, this may be a good idea, but we will leave this to the most extreme case. Because fire are not as effective as a barbecue grill. Look, there's something here. Oh! Let's see what's inside and take the tour as we wanted. Yep! It seems the trucks here are exactly the same as ours. There's this cool truck on a golden platform, just like mine. Huh. And there's also your second truck, which is on a dirt platform, exactly the same as yours. Of course, I have a better truck. <laughs> Where did you get the idea that you have a better truck? Just because it stands on your golden platform? This is definitely not an indicator of a good truck. My truck generally sits on dirt only because it goes steeply through a swamp. That doesn't make it any worse than yours. Oh, ho, ho. don't be so nervous, Mikey. I was just joking. But admit it, if it weren't for my truck, you would still be stuck in the mountains and stuck in that pit hole. I just save you every time because I am your best friend and there is no one else to help you. Let's go do the barbecue. It's time for dinner. Oh, okay. You're right that you saved me several times. My truck is still better. I agree. Let's continue making barbecue and set aside everything we need so that we can have a delicious meal soon. Let's remove all this extra greenery here and put on a barbecue grill. Hmm. I'm having trouble with lighting the BBQ. I need to do something about it. Let me put up an umbrella and a few sun loungers now. Ho <laughs> ho! Did you set the fire right on the asphalt? Yes, you are a genius of thought. Yep. I definitely wouldn't have thought of putting a fire on the asphalt. Oh no! <laughs> Now we have to cook on my fire. I hope it burns well. And now I will continue to set up a sun lounger and an umbrella so that we can relax comfortably. Oh! Here, keep some meat and you will fry it. I think this will be enough for us to feed our entire family. I'm very hungry. What do you say? Hmm. I'm very hungry, so I rush to fry the meat we have. Hmm. It seems that we will eat most of the meat first. Yep. <laughs> and the rest will be given to the children and wives. Let's rest on this. Ho <laughs> ho! Girls, how do you like our barbecues? We tried very hard here and prepared everything for you. Really, Mikey? <laughs> oh! Yes, we tried very hard. That's why we prepared so much meat in this rest area. It seems to have gotten so dark already. Thanks for taking care of us, and it seems like it's time for us to go home and go to bed. <laughs> yes, I also agree with her. We ate so well that now I want to sleep. Hmm. Okay, it really seems like it's time to go home. Guys, good night to you, and we'll go and go to bed already. Our children are sleeping, now it's time to join them. Let's go quickly, it's time to rest. Tomorrow new things await us that require energy. Huh? Let's go into our room. I'm already very tired. Now let's prepare the bed a little, and take our son with us and go to bed. Today was a hard day. We traveled a lot. It was very interesting. Hmm. Mikey and his wife went into their house. They can be seen through the window. Now we need to say goodbye to him. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Hmm. I slept a little. Hmm. Now I'll do what I planned all day. My family is already asleep. It seems they won't wake up anytime soon. <laughs> I need to go out and do what I wanted. This is my plan where I will douse JJ's truck with acid. To do this, I will need to build a high tower and climb onto it and spill acid right over his truck. Let's go out and see if Jay is sleeping. Hmm. It seems like no one is there. I need to be quiet and careful so that no one wakes up and suspects something is wrong with me. Oh! Now I will quietly go to the main truck storage where I kept everything necessary for this plan. Now let's see what's here. There are several buckets of acid here and some cobblestones. I will need cobblestones to build a tower. I'll take everything from here and start building the tower. Hmm. I need to do everything very quickly and quietly so that no one notices. It is very important to maintain silence. It's very early morning and still dark. <laughs> I have already built a fairly high tower and have almost done what I wanted. <laughs> I think this is almost enough to start my plan. Oh! I'll spill the acid now and it will fall right on the truck to JJ. Woohoo! I think now he can wake up any minute because it makes very loud sounds and eats away everything in her path. Let's see how he reacts to this. Woohoo! 
I'll continue building the tower, and now I'll break some more acid. I need to see what's going on down there now. It seems my plan worked out well. JJ will be shocked. <laughs> Good morning, JJ. Time to wake up from my pranks. Did you think that I wouldn't give you revenge for a punctured tire? There was no need to be so careless. <laughs> what are these sounds? What's happening? The wife and child seem to be fast asleep and hear nothing. I should go and check what's going on. I wonder if Mikey woke up. I need to see what's going on. I'll go out and deal with everything myself. What it is? Why are there no pieces of asphalt? It looks like acid, but where could it be here? Huh? I need to figure out who did this. Maybe these are some hooligans or bandits? What? I need to call Mikey and really sort this out. What kind of tower is this? I haven't been here before. Mikey, is it really you? Uh-oh. Huh? Of course it's me. Did you think I wouldn't take revenge on you? Get what you deserve. Wake up, everyone. Mikey is misbehaving there. Mikey, get down from there. Stop ruining my truck. Get down there before I get angry. Otherwise, I'll break your car now. Huh? 